What is up guys, this is YK404 back with you and today we are going to do the very very awaited 1000 subscriber special question and answer video. And while we do that, I was thinking about what to put on the screen. So I decided that I should show you some of my best Town Hall 12 attacks and some of my uh, most favorite ones so that you don't get bored as well as I'll show you guys the questions that were asked, uh, the screenshots of those questions and answer them on the screen. Alright, so let's dive into it. Let's not delay anymore. The first question was from Udish and he asked, please tell me about your family and about how you met Joe. So I have a pretty small and nice family and we're all very friendly and in about everything and every aspect. So I talk to my family the way I talk to my friends without hesitation or any such thing because that is how I've been grown up. And about Joe, I met him on Discord when I joined his server about a year ago. And over time, we've grown to have a really nice relationship. So the next question comes from Hypex. He asks, uh, favorite troop? The answer is Pekka. Drake wants to know, what do you do for a living? And show us your setup if you can. Here's a rapid fire, Lalo or hybrid? Queen or Warden? YouTube or Discord? Degree or Passion? Okay, that's a big question. So by profession, I am a client relationship manager and um, this is a IT enabled services company. That is how I earn my living and I support my family. For the Lalo or hybrid part, I would go with Lalo every day, all day long. For the Queen or Warden part, I'd go with Queen. And finally, for the YouTube or Discord part, I would go with Discord. And when it comes to degree or passion, I'd say both. Because I got my degree on software engineering and I am following my passion, so that is there. Jabo says, how tall are you? I am 6 feet and 2 inches tall. I don't know how to convert it to centimeters. I know some of you guys don't understand feet, but deal with it. Gund asks, I know this is kind of random, but let's say if I wanted to become a lead, uh, how would I do it? The answer to that question is, in my opinion, you can be a leader with dedication, loyalty, and maturity. The way you talk to your people of the clan, the way you uh, step up in making decisions, helping the leaders, the existing leaders making those decisions, uh, doing stuff without being asked to do is what makes you stand out of the crowd. And that is how you earn your promotion with loyalty, with dedication, and with maturity. Kiz says, can I get a face reveal? No. And I'm not going to say the rest of the thing that you asked me to say. <laughs> Drew says, what tips do you recommend for a new content creator? Well, this is going to be a long answer. When you are a new content creator, you don't have the privilege of complaining. So get your first 100 videos uploaded and then look at your numbers, not before that. According to statistics, on average, a YouTube channel takes about a half year or more and 152 plus videos to get to 1000 plus subscribers genuinely. And when you spend that much time and effort without thinking about anything, you'll learn all by yourself what to do next and how to get better at it because after putting so much time and effort into something, you kind of get the heck of it, right? You've been doing it for so long, you get used to it, and you finally start to understand how YouTube works by that time, and who your audiences are, and stuff like that. So you learn over time what to do. Just for now, for a beginning creator, don't give up, keep uploading, and be consistent. That is all. Howzy says, what is your favorite Town Hall level and why? So my favorite Town Hall level is Town Hall 9 because of the introduction of the ultimate wall breaker, also known as the Archer Queen. Uh, well, the game becomes more fun when you can have the Archer Queen and that explains why I picked Archer Queen in the previous question when I was asked 
to choose between the Archer Queen and the Grand Warden. AZ says, what are your tips for rushed players since you have a rushed base of your own as well? Okay, so tips for the rushed player is keep grinding, don't stop, don't give up, you'll get there one day, hopefully, maybe, holy, I don't even know what I'm saying, <laughs> okay, well, the point is, don't stop, keep clashing, keep putting your effort, and focus on your lab and your heroes first. That way, you can, you'll be able to uh, attack more when you have a better offense and gain more loot to fix your defensive rush, if that makes sense. Firewater says, your best and worst Clash of Clans moments. Uh, well, the worst moments is, I think everybody knows it, everybody had it, it's the disconnect between war. When you lose internet, your Wi-Fi goes away, and you ended up like getting a zero start in war, that's my worst moment. And the best moment probably was, till now, starting the Town Hall 13. I was so excited at that very moment to be, for the very per first time, Town Hall 13 that I can't even explain. Ragav um, says, your favorite YouTube moment and how do you deal with burnout? Alright, so the favorite YouTube moment till now has been getting to 50,000 channel views and that is something not so easy to gain and I'm really proud of myself and I'm grateful to all of you for that kind of support that this channel was able to get to 50,000 views so easily very quickly and really grateful to all of you guys. And if I talk about how I deal with burnout, it's you guys. You, my fans, are the reasons why I don't get burnout. Also, apart from that, I do buy gold pass every month to keep myself motivated into the game because I'm investing real money in it. Utkarsh says, how do you manage to keep up the quality content while spending time with friends and family? So here's the issue. A day only has 24 hours. I work full time for 9 hours a day. If I include travel time, that becomes 11 to 12 hours a day. If I include 6 hours of sleep, that becomes 18 hours a day. And then all I have is 6 hours remaining, out of which I have to spend roughly 2 hours for recording the game and 2 to 3 hours for editing and uploading the videos. Which basically means I get zero, absolutely zero time for myself or friends or family or anything apart from content creation and work. And that's why I take weekly two days off from uploading videos. I don't have to work on these days as well, so those are weekends for me. Um, therefore, I, I, I'm able to enjoy those two days of my life to the fullest, giving all my life to the family or the friends and stuff like that. Uh, don't involve clash or content creation or anything that is related to my profession. And that helps me get refreshed and I, I, I can avoid being grumpy um, after a whole week of effort when I spend those two, two days quality time with the people I love. Lackey says, how you started Clash and eventually joined Enigma. Face reveal, Pog. No face reveals, sorry. <laughs> face reveal is gonna be after 10,000 subscribers. And the, the question of how I started Clash and eventually joined Enigma is a pretty, pretty long story and an interesting one, so hang in there. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. So what happened is I started Clash of Clans very early back in uh, the days. And in 2014 or 2015, actually 2015, by the end, I ended up quitting Clash. So it was around 2016 January actually. So towards the very end of 2015 and absolute beginning of 2016, that's when I started, uh, that's when I quit the game. And during the quarantine uh, back in 2020, I installed the game on my phone and I started searching YouTube about how to do attacks because clearly I had forgotten everything that I knew back then, right? And things had changed massively by 2020. When I saw YouTube and Town Hall 13 videos, I was like, that blue building does what? It what? It fights back? Holy, no way, what? <laughs> I was shocked, I was surprised, I was intimidated. And 
That's how I ended up watching more videos and kept watching and kept watching and I found out Joe's channel and I ended up joining his Discord server as well as joining the clan Paradox Enigma. So that's the story. Sai has asked, hey buddy, you're OP and can we expect a family war in Wakanda? Also tournaments and last show us your gorgeous face. Um, no face reveals until 10,000 subscribers. So we can have family wars in Wakanda. You spelled it wrong, by the way. <laughs> uh, but it depends on the clan leaders entirely, whether they are willing to put the effort to have something like that organized or not. Uh, I have no issues covering that on a video, but it comes down to you guys at the end. Baba Boy says, how did you get the name YK404? So this is a fun story. I used to play Counter-Strike Global Offensive a lot and people were toxic in the game. Um, granted, I'm not the best player and the random matchups were horrible. So they used to curse and all, while all I did was respond as you know nothing. So whenever they'd be toxic and my friends on my team saw me saying you know nothing, they ended up giving me the name YK404, in which YK means you know, and 404 means nothing, or not found. So whatever you know is not found, that's the, that's the point. Which means, um, it's kind of a tech joke, so if you don't get it, forget it. <laughs> but it's funny to me. And yeah, that is how I ended up getting the name. No one says, how are you so OP? Who helped you practice? Who is your favorite friendly challenge buddy? Alright, so no one is one of my oldest friends over on Discord. He's also a server admin on my server and he's been one of my best friends and one of my best, most favorite friendly challenge buddies while he was in Enigma uh, before he quit the game. So I really miss those days with you <laughs> and uh, well, you and I used to be Town Hall 12 but look at you, you're still a Town Hall 12, I'm a Town Hall 13 now so joke's on you. Vaser asks, what would you like to see in Clash of Clans in the future? Do you play any sports? Well, I would like to see more of new heroes, new troops, new super troops in the game. And in my opinion, the new Dragon Rider concept was a little bit boring. When I think of a new troop, I want to be thrilled, right? And I think Yetis, when they were released, they were really a good troops because nobody really expected something like Yetis. Now, I, we already have dragons, we already have hog riders. So we can expect, like we know it's obvious what a dragon rider would be, right? So um, that's where I think it got boring and I kind of expect a little bit more. When it comes to sports, I don't play any sports, I'm a, more of a, an indoor person. Messi says, who's your favorite competitive player? I would say Itsu. Uh, Itsu has been one of my most favorites for as long as he played in the competitive scene. Danny Boy aka Trashy says in Clash when did you first start playing full sweat mode? So the reason I started playing properly is because of that blue building that I mentioned a moment ago. Lol. I loved that addition to the game where the town hall fights back. That's why I installed the game in the first place and that's why I took it seriously. And that's exactly when I started playing properly as well. Hi on Paul says, on average, how much time does it take for you to learn and perfect a big brain strategy? Well, it really depends on the strategy, to be honest. Usually, it doesn't take me more than two days to grab the basics and two weeks to fully practice and master the whole strategy, at least for me. But then again, practicing makes me better, and it should be the same for you. Genesis says, if you get a chance to become a head manager of Clash of Clans, what changes would you like to make? So I would 200% spend more time on improving the quality of life in the game. Uh, there are tons of improvements needed, especially with that recruiting system. I think the recruitment system that's broken and I think we all know that. And those quality of life improvements would you know, all come through user feedbacks, hence why communicating with the users is more important, which in my opinion, Supercell does properly through YouTubers. 
Lackey says, do you have any pets? If not, do you want to have pets? If not, why not? So I don't have a pet. I used to have one. She died and I'm not happy about it. Uh, not planning on having a pet right now. Again, because I just mentioned a few questions ago that I don't have the time for myself. Having a pet is like having a baby. And that is a big responsibility. I'm just not ready with so much going on in life right now. I hope you understand. Okay, Arzius says, how much time do you spend on Clash at an average? So I used to play a lot. I used to play a lot, lot. But when I started properly YouTubing, the gameplay has reduced a lot in my opinion. It's more editing now, less gameplay. Maybe for an hour or so daily gameplay. That's about it. FTZ says, who was your first crush in your school days? Don't lie. Okay, that's easy. When I was in school, I had a terrible, terrible crush on Katy Perry. And she's a singer if you don't know. And her eyes, oh my goodness. Hmm, <laughs> cheese. Says, what has been the current best experience you have had in your life? Well, that comes down to answering. It was meeting the girl I'm with now. Um, I've never been happier. And she deserves way more credits than just two lines, but I'll keep it that way for now. <laughs> Daryl says, YK's favorite ice cream flavor. Chocolate. That's what I love. Sam asks, do you like people? Big no. Lol. <laughs> no. Rajput says, uh, what you have currently in your setup for making videos. How do you encourage yourself to make videos? Tell me about yourself. Where are you from? Name, etc. By the way, love from India. Well, um, I have a fully custom built PC and I just use whatever I have to produce content. Like gaming headset that I have um, is used for recording, recording the audio because right now I can't afford to get high-end stuff, right? For software though, I use the Wondershare Filmora, Adobe After Effects, Audacity for voice recording, stuff like that. Iron Man Plays says, Were you a worst attacker when you started Clash of Clans? So I wasn't a very bad player when I started, uh, although I wasn't as good as I'm now. And I answered the second and third questions just a, just a bit ago. Ash Clash Champs says, congratulations bro for 1k uh, subscribers, thank you so much. Any suggestion to grow Clash of Clans YT channel? Well, the key is very clear and simple. Just keep uploading, there's no shortcut to growing YouTube. You just gotta do and be patient. It's like a tree. The growth is exponential with time but the growth at the very beginning is very, very slow. So you gotta be patient and dedicated. Raid says, did you thought of making Clash of Clans videos by yourself or did you get inspiration from somebody? If so, who was it and why? What does YK404 stand for? All right, so I got inspired by all the early fans and friends on Discord that I had. I used to just upload the videos to show my clanmates, to be honest, uh, to show how I do my attacks so they can learn from that. And back then, I had no voice inputs, so um, at one point, it was like they said that if I explained with my voice, it would be better for them to understand. And that's when I started doing voiceovers as well on the videos. And slowly, people outside the clan uh, who are on Discord on Joe's server also started watching those videos and they started giving me feedback on how they were. And soon, when everybody insisted that I do regular uploads because they liked my videos so much, I figured, well, you know what, let's just do it. Zool Dude says, what is your real name and real life job? You got inspired to do YouTube because of Joe? Okay. None of you will understand my real name in my language, but in English, my real name means Sky. So yeah, um, I've already said by uh, profession, I am a client relationship manager. And the story of me starting YouTube was shared just now. Although Joe does have my, uh, like has a uh, huge part of my heart. Shivam says, apart from YouTube, where else do you invest your time? 
So apart from YouTube, I invest my time on my job because I have to feed my family. On weekends though, we all enjoy a lot together. Uh, like we watch movies, we do stuff together, we go out, hang out with my friends, uh, stuff like that. And uh, it's all just so I don't get too grumpy. So I need breaks. Danish says, are you married? Do you have kids? No, I'm not married. I don't have kids, but um, I do have a girlfriend and we might end up getting married soon. Jon Snow says, to you, which is faster, rushed to max or free to play? Okay, so rushed to max is faster just because if you consider how much loot you can hold on your max storages, uh, that's way more than what you will be able to hold on your Town Hall 3 storages, right? So yeah, um, however, the conventional gameplay style where we max each Town Hall level and then move to the next one is actually a lot better experience and more fun, in my opinion. Pipi Nipi, or Nepe, I don't know how to say that name. Where are you from? Where is your accent from? I am from somewhere around Asia and my accent is 100% not from where I live, which is weird and it makes harder for people to guess my origin. Shawaib says, who all are in your family and where do you live? I have a mom and a dad and a little brother and that's a very small family that I have. I live in my bedroom. That's a dad joke, by the way. <laughs> Branano says, Will you join your clan with your main? Yes, I will. Maybe later, but sure, I will bring my main account to the clan Wakanda Forever. And if you don't know the clan yet, the link is down in the description for the clan. If you want to join, you can definitely join, but Discord is required. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope I was able to answer most of your questions. And if you did, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, take care.